Watch. A barrister is a lawyer entitled to practice as an advocate, particularly in the high courts. All right? So that don't give me enough because they got some words in here the regular person don't know what they mean in law. In law, what does an advocate mean? And in law, what is a high court? Right? So we're going to look at advocate first. So this is a 1050 start. Ten on fifty sisters, ten toes down, standing upright. So this is gonna be. A, I'm gonna invite um, Alexis, the life coach, in here um, to watch the video when she come in. I'm gonna do some invites. Um, so I'm gonna do these invites right quick, and I'm gonna. Uh, how to uh, see what the media has been showing us, but we haven't been looking at. So I've been keeping pace because they've been slowly unwit the deep state revelations. So people asking for disclosure. So this is what the far back and relaxed part. And so when you do your work, you have um, a, a lull before what's done spiritually. And so um, in that lull is when you have to recuperate and rebuild your energies. You have to uh, focus on what you have to do next. Now, the sister was getting the same message as I did earlier to um, far back. Well, I've been getting them for a couple of days now. And some of y'all might have noticed that some of the ones who was pushing the hardest in this work is falling back. You can't find certain ones right now. Some of them um, even turned a... Um, Facebook pages off so that they can fall back for the next phase of manifestation so now we're going to go into what are we to expect yeah I don't know what that was but I'm still here um, so I'm going to see if I can invite this sister in and um, I'm going to see if I can locate her because um, she's supposed to be coming in with me so we can discuss this energy exchange and um, see what happens. So I just sent her an invite. Um, wait for her to respond. So uh, I'm gonna go over a few things, and um, I'm gonna tell y'all uh, some of what I'm seeing. So the um, is being part part of fraud. Um, this week I'm gonna try again. Um, see if they if you can come in. And, um, so I liked what she was doing earlier and um, I wanted to, to go over because we was getting the same that's normally a sign that we need to share a conversation good morning I am doing well how about yourself I'm doing great I'm doing great it's good to see you Awesome. It is great to be seen. Thank you so much for inviting me on your live. It is definitely an honor. An honor. You know, you're doing great things, big things, big things. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. So look, I was watching your live this morning and I was like, you was going through the message about falling back and what it means. And um, I, I, I was getting the same message. So from you getting it from a feminine aspect, I'm getting it from a masculine aspect. So we have to uh, merge the energy 
-hmm. when we explain it, right? So then people understand it better, what we're talking about, because they think that it means we abandon them. And that's not yeah. what it means. <laughs> no, not at all. And honestly, um, a lot of people, um, more so, I want to say the family, your friends, your close, the people that you're close with are going to want to use this emotional guilt in order to keep you from ascending. Um, I posted a few mm. uh, months back about the Simpsons, how uh, the Flanders ascended, the whole family ascended. But when Lisa started to ascend, Homer pulled her ass back down, right? And she went back down to the hell realm with the family. And so that is what's happening right now is a lot of us who have ascended um, or, uh, you know, broke out your crown, your, uh, your chakras and have been doing the work, um, especially I tell this all the time, like, you know, I came out the womb spirited. You know, my parents told me all the time, like, we didn't understand you. You scared us. <laughs> you know, you said shit that we didn't understand. And so with life, it builds you, you, it breaks you down, right? And once you're able to speak your truth, that's when you come out and you try to bring people with you. But the people who are used to you vibing low with them, they want to keep you there. They don't want to, they don't want to see you ascend because, it's not so much out of maliciousness. It's just that they didn't listen. And so now they're like, well, they I mean, I don't. Hmm? And they don't understand what you're going through. And they don't understand why your experience is not matching their reality. Exactly. And exactly. They, so they they go, turn into the agent on the matrix to try to hold you back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, and then, you so, know, they come with what, the emotional... Honestly, I think especially for a lot of us empath, uh, we came down with a lot of parent family members who were our narcissists, or at least they are able to take be taken over to be narcissists to try to break you down as much as possible so that you don't um, believe in yourself. All right. And honestly, that is like the biggest trial as the people who are, okay, you want to take your family with you, right? You want them to go with you, your squad, right? But if they're not doing the work, they're going to drag you down because you can't, uh, you can't have them on your back. Honestly, the only message that I got that was cool is for kids, all right? You can carry your children, but they need to be doing the work as well. And that way they're not as polluted. Like I told my daughter, she got two days and then it's a wrap on all of this electronics. We going straight meditation, you know, falling back so that we're cool, you know, because again, the kids are going through things too, because my daughter is gifted. And of course she is just like us. You know, our children are just like us. They want their friends there, you know, there are people to ascend with them. So they're battling too. You know, so I just tell her every day, hey, it's about you, baby. You're good. Don't you want to have your superpowers and be showing them like, hey, look what I can do. You know, you got to make sure that you explain to them what's happening. It's not so much that you're leaving them behind, but damn it, it's about you. It's about you. You know, we, mm. we've been taught to put everybody before us when it, that's not the case. We got to come first. Well, you know, that, that's one of the things, too, because it's, you can't control me with your emotions because I'm not mm -hmm. going to feed into what you emotionally driven by. What drives you emotionally, if I feed into that, puts me into a trap that you create for me. Right. So what do yes. I do? The synthesis. This, so the synthesis is I understand what you're saying and I recognize how you feel. However, I have a path I have to walk that if I was to only go according to what you feel, I can't walk my own path. I can't Fact. abandon my journey to cater to your emotions. And the people mm -hmm. don't get that. So Not at people all. drive themselves crazy thinking that they can control me because they can talk loud and stick the chest out 
That shit don't move me at all. None. Okay, how mad all. you get? You, I'm, I'm not controllable. If I want to be all, controlled, you're not going to control me. My thing is, <clears throat> control your damn self. That's my thing. How you controlling me, but you are uncontrollable. You can't control yourself, all right? And that that's the biggest downfall of our society. We want to control how uh, everybody else deals with their emotions or uh, what they're doing. Focus on your star player, you mm -hmm. know, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, do you ascend your way, right? That, that's the thing. We all want to do it. Somebody else says, no, ascend your way, heal. You know, there are specific guidelines, you know, there's outlines of it. I just did it my way. I'm just giving you how I did it. My method, they may or may not work for you, you know, but people want to, if it doesn't work for them now, they mad, but if, you didn't go in open-minded. You went in not wanting it to work, mm -hmm. you know? It, and the worst what? thing, especially coming from a feminine, uh, in the feminine aspect, is our Black elder women, you know? I love my mom to death, but I get so much uh, resentment from her because I don't follow her path, you know? And that was like more hard. Her resentment is rooted in fear. Yeah, See, yeah, we, we, exactly. When we look at our history, right? We look at our history. Anyone else show signs of brilliance? Either the slave master sheep dipped us and used us for his purposes, or he killed us. So, what is a mother's first responsibility to a child? To protect it. You know, she's gonna protect that child with her own life. And sometimes, trying to keep the child out of harm's way, you clip their wings. Yes. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and unfortunately, it, I want to say fear, but I also want to say jealousy. The jealousy is a learned behavior. Um, You're right. Tied to the fear factor. It, it's directly tied to the fear factor. Um, they Before we could even learn psychology, they had to take dementia precox out of the book before mm -hmm. they let dark people start learning psychology because they're it tells you how to teach somebody how to be jealous. And they oh, only because yeah. <clears throat> I want it to be, I want it to be this way. I don't want it to be what it is. I want it to be my way. Mm -hmm. Well, first, before you can get it your way and change it into your way, you have to accept it for what it is. You can't exactly. make it what you want to be before you acknowledge what it is because you don't know how to change it if you don't know what it is. There it is. No, and that's so, what people, they don't want to know what it is. They want to go, they want to hmm. do all this changing, but don't want to know what they're changing. They don't want to go. And honestly, the hardest part about ascending is listening to your damn self. <laughs> we want somebody else to, we, we are so far gone from our own power that it is ridiculous. We, or the masses, only wants to heal if somebody else is doing it, if somebody else does the he he heavy lifting, you know, and it that that's not Look, that's unrealistic. I'm gonna show you the funniest part about my path is the right answer, mm -hmm. but they insisted that mine wrong. Come back to me two weeks later. Man, what you said was right. It was over there and that one dude was telling me about it. It wasn't right when I told him, but when mm -hmm. this other motherfucker told him, now it's right. You know, they don't care exactly. about getting the information. They, as long as they don't get it from you. <laughs> I don't want you to give it to That's them. it. <laughs> That's it right there. And you know, that's that's the problem. That is the problem. I want it from everybody but you. But if you'd learn from me, you'd have been doing this shit two, three, four, five years ago. You wouldn't be wait, you wouldn't be in this situation now. Now you waited for the last motherfucker. And they they not even worried about you. And actually, the one the bad thing about it now is a lot of these spiritualists that are out here are for the other. They don't even want you to ascend. They are making sure that you don't ascend. You know, so... Well, you, gotta, it, it, you, you gotta remember a lot of these spiritual people perception is reversed. Facts. So what they thinking is the path to ascension is a path to descension. Mm -hmm. 
It's a downward spiral into where you already been. So they want to keep, the word religion means to be bound back to something, to yeah. retie you all over again. So that they had us being tied back to something and we ain't never found out what the hell we've been tied to. Mm-mm. We've been following just, religion. Go what is the, mm-hmm. So what is the religion tying us to? Right? Death. It's tying us to what they call <laughs> legios, like re mean to do mm-hmm. over. Legio or lesions, right? Now, remember what the book said. We are lesions, for we are many, right? So yeah. go back to the word and examine it again. Ties back to what? Because the literal Greek meaning is a religioso is to tie back to um, whatever the underlying doctrine is. It's a, like an adjective. It just describes what you tied to. Oh yeah. So when you it's say the Christian you back religion, to slavery. you're tied to the cross. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it's it. They don't want you to ascend. It, it, that's it. They don't mm-hmm. want you to. It's so funny. I love it when I start talking. It's cloudy as shit, and here come the sun. I love it. I love it. You know, but yeah, mm-hmm. From the we're not. Comes light. Yeah, <laughs> it's bright and it is cloudy mm-hmm. out here. Um, but you know, we're not abandoning abandoning the people. We're saving ourselves. And that that's the one thing. We are saving our star player. It's no longer about um having followers or having people behind you. No, it's about saving yourself, being your own leader. That's who um when you know you to really reach your maturity okay, is you when you realize that it's not about um it's when you're on your path the more people that you're capable of helping the better but you ain't supposed to stop walking your path that's right right you ain't supposed to arrest your own development because somebody else's development is stifled mm-hmm. you know so when we talk about falling back or um, um, taking that needed hiatus to recharge ourselves, and a lot of people don't, they get confused and think that I haven't heard from him. He must have quit or gave up or whatever. And that don't be the case. You know, we can't we give just up. have a different way of dealing with it. <laughs> we can't no give, give up. up. Nah, it ain't no give up. It is no, it's never, go- once you opened up Pandora's box, you can't go backwards. So it's no giving up. It's no going backwards. You know, as a true spiritualist, you know these things. You know, once you open that door, you better keep going. Other than that, they're going to fuck you up. It is a wrap. I used to tell people that all the time, like, hey, the spirits be messing with you because you don't talk to them. Go in your house and speak to them. They'll leave you the fuck alone. Hey, what's up? Good morning. How are you? But once you start, you cannot stop. This is not a game. They will they will fuck your life up <laughs> if you ignore them. So, you know, it's a lot of people out here who are getting spiritual whoopings because you opened up Pandora's box. You think it's cool. Oh, I I think it's fun. I'm going to get me some cards, right? And your life then went haywire because you playing with something that you don't understand. You don't understand this shit and it's not for you. You know, I tell people, and they find it hard to, um, to grasp this part, is that when... I stopped following the path, bad shit started happening, right? So if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, how do I know? Don't know bad shit happen. Facts. That means I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. So I can't stop doing what I'm supposed to do to do what you want me to do because I'm going to bring mm-hmm. calamity on both of us if I do that. I got to reach exactly. the highest path I can reach according to what's laid out before me. Just because you don't see my path, like I see my path, don't mean I'm not walking it. Some people tell me, man, you need to not even worry about that political shit. Just focus on your day-to-day life. Well, some of us have a higher responsibility than just our day-to-day life, Mm -hmm. than just me, just my child. Somebody got to be responsible to clean this bullshit up. So when I do all my studies, you know, certain elders, it's like they talking directly to me. 
I, I took it personal. So when I took it personal, it became a personal vendetta. And they say V is for vendetta. You mm -hmm. know, in Greek, that's a five. Yeah. You know, so the five is the, is the turnaround point. So now when we looking at it um, from a three-dimensional, lesser vibrational energy, yeah, we crazy than a motherfucker. I'll be the first one to admit that because I don't lose my perception of how we've seen it three-dimensionally. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I recognize I got a higher perception than that low vibrating ass bullshit. Yeah, and so I got my shit emotions to do. is in context. Now I gotta say, what? Why am I? Why, okay, why? Why do I give a fuck about George Floyd more than I do my twenty-two other homeboys that then died over the last two years? Where I want to go out and tear some shit up, or the kids. See, right. that's what I, I made mean, a post like, yesterday yeah. about the babies. Like, they've been shooting kids down. That's my thing. You know, Tamar Rice was running away and let the 12 year old in the park. See, if we're going to tear shit down, you go <laughs> ride for the babies. You know, not a grown ass motherfucker <clears throat> that can defend themselves. I'm going after, I'm going to ride for these kids. 